So this is lesson 90 number 8 and I'm supposed to develop the identity for sine of 2a and so sine 2a I want to see where I'm going so I'm going to find it here um, it's 2 sine a cosine a so I'm just going to kind of write that maybe down here um, sine of 2a equals 2 sine a cosine a because once I develop it I want to make sure I, I develop, I do my development correctly. Okay, so I'm supposed to use sine A plus B. So the way that you can get a double angle is just let B be the same amount as A. Or in other words, you can replace B with A. We can say let B equal A, and then I'll have sine A plus A, right? Because A it's sine A plus B, but I'm letting B equal A. And then I'm going to grab my identity off of here. I'm supposed to use um, sine A plus B. So sine A plus B is sine A cosine B. But remember I let B equal A. So it's going to be sine A cosine A plus cosine A sine A. Okay, I grabbed that off of this sheet. It's the very top one right here and I replaced all the A's with B's because that gives me when I add the A and the A that gives me sine of 2A and that's what they're asking me for and I know that my end result is supposed to be 2 sine A cosine A and when I look right here I think I'm already there because that's sine A cosine A and this if you let them switch places using the commutative law of multiplication you, that's also sine A cosine A so that's 2 sine A cosine A so, ta-da, we did it.